Good morning guys! So this is Colleen, your Bagulas. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Katatapos ko lang mag-breakfast and nag-freshen up ako para sa video na to. Um, Na-excite ako sa totoo lang kagabi ko pa iniisip kung paano ko sisimulan. Pero ayun, so as you guys know, sa mga nanonood ng mga vlogs ko um, or yung mga cover songs ko, kung napansin nyo, um, phone lang kasi yung gamit ko to capture yung mga videos and doon din ako sa phone ko nag edit So, ayun, nakita ata nung sponsor ko na awa siguro siya sa akin. Kaya ngayon, meron na tayong i-unbox na bago. Baby! We're at um, unboxing my first ever camera. So, thanks to my sponsor. Ayan po. So, ito na siya. Um, ano pala? Kung gusto nyo bumili ng um, camera dito sa Baguio City, um, I suggest you go buy a camera sa Camera House in SM Baguio. They are very accommodating. If you have questions about cameras or photography, they are very, very willing to help you. Nung, ano pa nga eh, nung, nung, nung bago kami umalis, sinabi sa amin na, if you want or you have free time, pwede kayong pumunta dito para magpaturo, mag-take ng pictures or magpa-video. So, ayun guys. So, thank you Camera House. So, ito po. Ito ang aking pinakauna. Camera. So, Canon EOS M50. This was suggested to be by my friend, uh, my photographer friend, whom I am very proud of, Kuya Ivan Tiamzon. So, if you want to um, check out his photos or his uh, videos, meron siya sa Facebook and sa Instagram. He really takes good pictures, guys. So, kung gusto niya rin magpabook, contact niyo lang siya through those um, accounts. So, ayun. Buksan na natin ang uh, Guys, pagka open nyo, sabi nga pala dito, the contents are a digital camera EOS M50 with the zoom lens EF M15-45 mm. Ano to? Basta ayun, alam siguro nila yan. Next strap, battery charger, and then battery pack. So, ayun. Okay, pagka open mo, dito yung user manual, which I will be reading later on since hindi ko pa talaga siya binabasa. So, Okay, so ito yung cord ng charger. Charger mismo. Okay, the battery. So this is the battery, my one battery. The lens. And the camera itself. O nga pala, linagay na pala nila yung next drops. And meron din pala siyang free na memory card. 16 gig memory card. Okay. So, gilid muna natin to. So, this uh, camera pala comes in black and white. So, guys, ang napili ko po ay white. So, ang ganda. Pero doon, hindi ko Nagaganda talaga ako. So, kaya ko napili yung white kasi ay, ay, talo ka. Kaya ko napili yung white kasi parang common na nung black na yun ba? Tapos parang pag white, medyo medyo feminine siya. So, yun. Ito na yung lens na. So, yun. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. natin siya guys. So yung sabi pala nila sa camera house pag mag uh, hindi nyo gaano ginagamit yung camera or hindi nyo gagamitin ng matagal it's best to remove na yung battery para daw mag uh, i-avoid ang mga leaks battery leak So yun that's how you put it so yun may ingat dapat tayo when attaching the lens to the camera body, there's a white na dot jan and then my where is that? White na dot. Oh, ito, white na dot naman dito. Dito. So, yun dapat para pag i-attach mo dapat dun ka mag-start. Ayan. So, ayan guys. And then, pinalagyan na rin pala siya ng filter kasi alam na 
medyo alam niya naman si Ate niyo medyo clumsy para man matagal yung camera sa akin nilagyan ko na ng filter kasi medyo para maingat na rin ayun guys so ito yung camera diba? so pretty naiimagine ko na yung mga pwede kong gawin sa camera na to kagabi nga isip ko ay ganito ako mag ito may gagamitin na akong pang picture ko pumunta ko ng Turkey pag naglakad-lakad ako sa Istanbul at sa Cappadocia diba bongga so ayun Ambisyosa kasi ako eh. Gusto ko talagang ma-travel ang mundo. So, kagabi iniisip ko lang, ay ganitong klase ng video ang gagawin ko sa pag na ganitong bansa ako or sa ganitong bansa. So, hopefully, makapag-ipon talaga ako. Para naman magawa ko yung mga, yung mga video na gusto kong gawin. At mga lugar na gusto kong mapuntahan ay mapuntahan ko talaga. So, ayun guys. Moving on to the camera itself. Sabi dito, meron siyang so, Canon EOS M50 weighs 390 grams. Meron siyang built-in image stabilization, which hindi ko pa alam, pero kung ano yun. Meron daw siya external flash shoe and then electronic viewfinder. Ito yun. Um, isa, siya, um, isa sa mga reasons kung ba't highly suggested to ni Kuya Ivan sa akin is because um, nagko-cover kasi ako ng mga song. So, meron siyang mic. Maganda na rin naman yung mic niya, pero meron pa siyang microphone port dito para pag hindi pa ako contento sa mga kanta or sa sa quality audio quality sorry eh pwede pa akong mag at least mag-connect ng mga high quality na mics and then so ayun guys ito yung LCD LCD touch screen pwede nyo siyang ganyan para pag nagbo-vlog ka kita mo yung sarili mo diba very convenient para sa mga mga starting vloggers just like me so natin siya sabi dito. Okay. 4K na rin pala yung kanyang video resolution. So, mataas na. Quality na yun. Meron siyang built-in Wi-Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth connection. So, para sa mga nagtatanong kung ano ang NFC, ang NFC is Near Field Communication Technology. That this allows um, yung mga device, contactless communication between devices. So, if you're going to send some of your pictures or your videos sa ibang device, this NFC allows that. So, I can get this. Okay. Alam ko guys, um, pandemic ngayon. And hindi naman priority talaga ang pagbili ng camera. But here are some camera suggestions um, for starting vloggers like me who are looking for good quality cameras na magagamit niyo for vlogging. So, yun, sinadjust kasi nila sa mga panahon ngayon, ang kukunin niyo na na kasi ng camera is mirrorless cameras because um, compared to sa mga DSLRs, less bulky kasi ang mga mirrorless cameras. Mas convenient na siya. And then, marami na rin kasi siyang features na nagagawa as compared to DSLR. So, ayun guys, meron akong pinipair na listahan ng mga cameras from Canon and Sony that would be very helpful sa mga vloggers or sa mga nagsisimulang vloggers. Take note guys ha, um, disclaimer lang, hindi ako photographer, kaya ang ginawa ko kinonsult ko itong mga camera sa lista na to sa aking mga kaibigan and then dun dun sa camera house and then I did my own research. Kaya ayun. Um, and then, siyempre ibang usapan naman ang GoPro at ang um, mga drones when it comes to this video. So ayun guys, please continue watching. First on the list is Canon M100. It is a compact and lightweight mirrorless camera with 24 megapixels, APS-C sensor with dual pixel autofocus. Its video resolution is 1080 and it also has Wi-Fi with NFC and Bluetooth for connectivity. It can take about 295 shots per battery life. Next on the list is Canon M200. It is a slight upgrade from Canon M100. Some features stay the same, and some of the differences are that the video resolution of Canon 200 is 4K. It also has an eye detection feature, perfect for portrait shots. Another is a vertical video format, good for Instagram and FB posts, and it has an improved battery life. It can take up to 315 shots per battery life. Moving on to other brands, we have Sony. So on our Sony list, we have Sony A6000. It is a camera with 24.3 megapixels. Its video resolution is 1080 over 60. It has a built-in flash plus multi-interface shoe. 
It also has an OLED electronic viewfinder, Wi-Fi with NFC compatibility and downloadable apps, and it can take about 360 shots per battery. Next on the list is Sony A6100, and just like Canon, it is also a slight upgrade from their previous model. Some features stayed the same, so here are the differences. It has 24.2 megapixels, 4K video resolution, and real-time autofocus. It has a touchscreen LCD monitor and an electric viewfinder. You can take about 380 shots to 420 shots per battery life depending on what you use. Last but not the least is Sony A6400. It is a compact and lightweight camera with 24.2 megapixels, real-time tracking and real-time eye autofocus. Its video resolution is 4K and it has a 180-degree tiltable LCD touchscreen. It has a built-in flash, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and MCF compatible, and it can take up to 360 to 410 shots per battery life depending if you use the electronic viewfinder or the LCD monitor. So yun guys, sana nakatulong yung video na yun sa pagpili nyo ng camera if you're really planning to buy a camera nowadays for vlogging. Um, one, yun na po yung mga main reasons kung bakit pini or sinadjust ng mga photographers and no, camera house itong mga camera na to for vlogging is that they are very light, handy, and convenient. So if you travel a lot, then definitely um, mas madaling gamitin yung mga ganitong cameras. And then meron na nga sila, they have certain features that can definitely upgrade your vlogging game. So nabasa ko nga din meron silang din real-time autofocus, yung eye detection autofocus, so that it's really good for portrait pictures. Meron din ding high-speed continuous shots, so if you want to take a picture of yourself while you're in motion, then maganda yung feature na yun. Um, ano mo ba? Ano ba? So, ayun. Isa lang yun sa mga reasons kung bakit mas preferred na yung mga ganitong camera kumpara sa mga um, if you want to learn more, then please visit um, sony.com.ph and, and ph.canon because they have detailed um, explanations or they have the full specifications and features of the camera. Um, and of course, the price. Nung I was the price, I wanted to say the price range, but they are different ng price. So, ayun, dun na lang sa site nyo tingnan. And then, ano pa ba? Um, they also have tips and tutorials um, for photography and videography. Ayun guys, thank you for watching. Sana continue nyo isupport si Colleen, your bagyo last. Now, I will be using this camera and hopefully I'll be making better vlogs um, from now on. Sana patuloy ito. <laughs> ayun, and ayun, ano ba? Ayun, don't forget to like and to subscribe sa akin channel. Um, I'll be posting more videos soon. So, kung saan man kayo sa mundo, ingat kayo lahat and God bless.